We are a family. I fight for them and they fight for me. As cool as we can be. We'll climb every mountain and swim in the sea. Bionic, Bionic 6, ooh, ooh. We can't remember the words to the song. Bionic, Bionic 6, ooh, ooh. <laughs> So that was me singing, and <laughs> this is Jesus, and this is, uh, as you can tell by the song, this is Bionic 6. This was yet another toy line from the 80s that was also a cartoon. Um, I haven't seen the cartoon in a very long time. Um, it's because, uh, well, for one, it didn't have a DVD release, and second, because it was just generally hard to find online. But luckily I was able to find it all recently, and um, hopefully I'll get to watch it one day and maybe do a cartoon clip show on it. But um, don't expect that anytime soon, because it, it had 64 episodes, <laughs> and uh, those usually take time to review. Um, I don't really remember a whole lot about the show. I, I vaguely remember watching it. I know I had the, the toys, obviously. Um, I remember, I, I feel like, just just by the, the premise of the show... It felt like um, it felt like the brainchild of someone who said, "Hey, what if we combined the Bionic Man with the Fantastic Four, and then out popped this right here?" Because uh, that's kind of that's kind of what it feels like. So um, anyway, let's uh, let's introduce our characters here. Uh, we got the good guys here. We got the bad guys here. In case you couldn't tell, uh, we got Jack, uh, who was the leader of the team. Um, Eric, who was a baseball enthusiast, as you can tell by his clothes. Uh, Bungie, yes, that, uh, that is actually his name, Bungie. Uh, Meg, right here, who was the rocker, because it was the 80s. And then on the bad guy's side, we have Mechanic, very original, and the even more original, Glove. His name is Glove. I don't really remember what the significance of his name was, but, uh, again, I haven't seen the show in a while. And finally, we have... Madam O. Ooh, mysterious. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there were, there were, uh, of course, there were two other members of the Bionic 6. This is just the figures I have, obviously. Um, there was Helen, who I believe was Jack's wife. And then there was JD. And I've been trying to get a hold of those two figures for a while, but, um, uh, for one, you don't really find too many of these figures on eBay, and when you do, they're usually pretty expensive, and... I'm going to wager that Helen and D uh, JD were uh, some of the more rare ones, because every time I see one of those pop up, either a million people are bidding on it, or someone wants a ridiculous price for them. Um, then there was, of course, uh, there was three more bad guys. There was, um, let's see if I can remember this off the top of my head, uh, Chopper, who I think was some motorcycle guy. Um, there was Clunk, and then there was Dr. Scarab, who was this, <laughs> this comedically fat, bald guy who was the leader of the bad guys, and, uh, again, I don't remember what his deal was, but, uh, he was the villain, so we don't like him. Um, and you can find the villains pretty easily on, on the internet, um, because no one cared about the villains. You could also, I, I believe, um, Eric and Meg seem to be the most common you find, um, uh, and, uh, Jack and, Jack and Bungie, I believe, are pretty hard to find, too. But anyway, um, the, the deal with these guys were they, they were bionic, obviously. Um, they were in some sort of accident, and they were enhanced with bionic limbs. And, uh, one thing I do remember about the show is how they activate their bionic powers. They, they basically had a button on their wrist, like right here, and whenever they wanted to activate their powers, they would punch the, the button with their other hand, and... <laughs> It looked cool, but um, I wouldn't recommend doing that normally. Not that I would know. But anyway, um, these toys were made by LJN. Uh, a lot of people seem to forget that LJN uh, was a toy manufacturer, not just a uh, video game publisher who was made famous by a certain uh, nerd who gets angry at video games. But uh, let's take a look at these guys here. Um, we can see Jack. and uh, The unique thing about these guys is uh, they, they, they're made of, like, many different materials like there's plastic for the head uh, plastic for the hands I believe and then you got clear plastic for the uh, f the upper arm and the thighs 
And then the rest of them was made of like a like a die cast metal, which makes them very heavy. Although it does make it easy for them to um, to stand up. There you go, because they're very bottom heavy, which <laughs> which was always a a thing for me with action figures. Uh, oh, I think. Um, Oh no, maybe it wasn't a button, maybe it was like a ring that they had, I don't know. I, again, been a while since I've seen this one. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. The only problem is they don't age too well, because as he, if we can focus here, um, you can see he's got a little, got some scuff marks on him, because this is just like acrylic paint, and over time the, um, the paint will chip. Uh, this one's pretty good, actually. For the most part, uh, they seem to have held up fairly well. Um, let's take a look at Eric. And Oh, there you go. See, right when I said they stand up, well, they drop them, but there he goes. Okay, Eric, um, Eric seems pretty good. Uh, some scuff marks there. Scuff marks on the back. Usually, you see them on the back, but um, that doesn't really matter so much, because most, most of the time, you're going to see them from the front. Here's, um... Here's Bungie, and uh, yes, by the way, um, when when they said in the theme song that they're a family, they meant that they're a family, because um, Bungie here, obviously Asian, and uh, JD were adopted by Jack and Hannah, uh, or Helen, or was it Hannah or Helen? It was Helen. Uh, <laughs> losing, my, losing my train of thought here. And uh, yeah, you can see some of them didn't have um, the 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 bionic limbs entirely as so you can see through the legs pretty it's pretty neat looking let's take a look at Meg here Meg uh, the name Meg is kind of ironic for her because she kind of looks like uh, she kind of looks like Meg Ryan a little bit a uh, little um, a lot long after her time actually um, she looks pretty good again she's got a couple of scuffs on her back um, what's unfortunate about these is for her and, uh, Helen, sometimes the paint will chip right on the booby. So that's, that's very unfortunate. Uh, let's take a look at Mechanic here. So now you see he has the most wear on him. You can see the paint is coming off on his, uh, his, to his, um, not his torso. Well, yeah, his torso, but his, shoot, I'm, uh, his, his pelvis. I didn't want to say anything dirty. Um, uh, what I should note about this guy here is, uh, I actually found him at a thrift shop, and, uh, that is kind of a rare find to find, uh, not, not just an 80s figure, but just any kind of, like, good action figure at a thrift shop, so, uh, he was cool. He is, uh, what I would call a loved action figure, because, as you can tell by all the scuff marks, uh, he was played with quite a bit, so whoever had him last had a lot of fun with him. Here's Glove. Um, again, I don't really remember what the significance of his name was, because he's called Glove, but and yet he has two gloves. So, whatever that. Maybe the show will explain it. One day, well, when I get around to watching it, I will find out for sure. And finally, we have Madam O, who is uh, got surprisingly uh, not too many scuff marks on her. That's good. You know, she... Uh, she kind of looks like a Captain Planet villain, doesn't she? Or maybe like, maybe like someone the the Toxic Avenger would fight. Uh, I don't know. Some some about her just doesn't make feel like she fits with this, um, with this group. I think maybe she was a, another design that was um, recycled or something. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's those are the figures I got. And, of course, they had, like, uh, play sets and vehicles and things like that. There was um, there was an ATV with, like, a rocket launcher or something on it. And then they had this big van, and I thought it was hilarious because uh, the, the picture on the box uh, shows that you can drive the ATV outside the front of the van because it kind of <laughs> splits in half, and then the ATV just, just pops out of it. And it's just, it's just a very funny-looking visual. Um... But we're in luck because I just happen to have uh, one of the vehicles. This is the dirt bike. And yes, that's all it's really called, the dirt bike. Um, pretty good condition. Um, it seems to have some sort of action feature, but it may not be working correctly because uh, you can take the wheels and tuck them in there, but they 
they don't seem to want to stay in. I don't know if they're supposed to or not. I feel like they're supposed to because when you put them in, it, it clicks, but then it just pops out. I'm not really sure what that's all about. And then I found out that there's a button right here, and you push that, and then this goes like that. So I guess I guess it goes like that for, uh, for when they want to go fast, and then you just put this back up when you want to do just casual driving through town. And according to the box art for this, um, this was Meg's vehicle. So let's go ahead and put Meg on the on the dirt bike. See if we can get her comfortable. I'm not even sure. I don't even think the legs split far enough to get her on there. There you go, Meg. Get on that bike. Grab those steering wheel. This the handlebars. Um. <laughs> uh, she can't really go down any further. The legs, the legs don't split far enough. All right, well there you go. That's good enough. And then she goes off to fight evil. Hooray! The Bionic Six win again. All right. Um, so that's uh, those are the Bionic Six figures I have. Um, definitely want to try and get the rest of them because I think they're pretty nifty figures. Um, as long as they're not too um, too banged up. Uh, there was one other figure in the line that I did have when I was a kid, and I don't know what happened to it, but I would love to get a hold of another one. The Bionic 6 had a uh, 80s mascot tag-along character, you know, like Snarf or Orko or, you know, one of those, one of those types of characters. Uh, and even though I have not seen the show in a while, I don't really know what his personality was like. Just the very concept of him, I think, makes him one of the most underrated 80s mascot tag-along characters um, of all time. He was a giant robot gorilla named Fluffy, who, uh, ha Fluffy was an acronym for something, and I tried looking up what it is, and I, for the life of me, I, I could not find that, that information. Uh, again, it's probably explained in an episode. But yeah, he was a big die-cast robot gorilla and he was awesome and I have yet to see one pop up on eBay for a decent price and as soon as I see one I'm gonna grab him um, if not uh, I will have to wait until uh, an opportunity arrives but I, I definitely I definitely want to get a hold of him but um, looks like I'll be waiting for a while unless someone out there has one and they want to send it to me you can find my P.O. Box in the About tab on my YouTube channel. Donations are always welcome, and I may do a video on something you send me if it's really cool. No guarantees, though. Just throwing that out there. Well, uh, anyway, this was the Bionic 6. Uh, hopefully I can get around to reviewing the cartoon at some point, but uh, the toys are pretty cool for now. So uh, leave a comment below and let me know what you think.